King Jesus, King Jesus. Okay, hey, I'm reporting on this uh, scientific study where scientists have found that blacks are genetically stronger than whites. I want to thank Dwight Childers, one of my uh, subscribers who sent this in. A news report stated that a study conducted by Cornell University and Ivy League School has found that white Americans are genetically weaker and less diverse than their black counterparts. The study entitled Genotype, Haplotype, and Copy Number Variations in Worldwide Human Populations was conducted to provide data for uncovering the history of migration, range expansion, and adaptation of human beings. After testing 10,000 genes and analyzing the genetic makeup of 15 Americans of African American descent and 20 Americans of European descent, researchers found that the European Americans showed less variation than their African American counterparts. Carlos Bustamante, senior co-author of the study and an assistant professor of biological statistics and computational biology at Cornell University stated, since we tend to think of European populations as quite large, we did not expect to see a significant difference in the distribution of neutral and deleterious variations between the two populations. The study also found that Europeans had more harmful mutations than Africans did due to their race being diluted twice over 30,000 years ago, which caused bad mutations to build up in the European population. Bustamante calls this a genetic echo. Most non-Africans or whites descended from a small group of migrants who left the African continent 50,000 to 100,000 years ago. The study also revealed that native Native Americans showed less genetic diversity than Europeans. It's proof that the part of the world they lived in was the last to be settled. They are descendants of the Yakuts of Eastern Siberia who entered North America about 10,000 years ago. The researchers' study proved that life did start in Africa with Africans having the greatest amount of genetic diversity followed by Middle Easterners, then Europeans, South Asians, and last East Asians. Okay, that sums it up.